the other concept in my track of this awakening journey, like came across is time and based on a lot of the ancients or the spiritual discovery or channeling is talks about that time is an illusion is the man-made concept. So what is your concept of time? Yeah, I have a chapter in my book where I talk about that because it's something that if you're a philosopher, you start thinking about how does this work? And what can we do? Can we time travel? Can we do all those kinds of things? And so I broke it down and time in this dimension, in this physical realm. It is a sort of an illusion. If you look at the bigger picture, it is, you can definitely say that, but it emerges into a physical reality because something else has to exist in order for there to be time intervals that we can measure and observe. I think Einstein says it here when he's talking about the ether, as a matter of fact. In order for time to exist, I say this, that space has to be a real physical thing. And I will explain, distance equals rate times time. Now, many physicists believe that outer space is made of absolutely nothing. It's a complete void. So that I say cannot be true. Space has to be a real thing. It is a quasi-elastic solid. If space were not a real thing, and if you try to solve that equation for how long it takes to travel a specific distance, if that distance is equal to zero, because you're defining it, Mr. Physicist, as equal to nothing, therefore it can have no value other than zero. If it has the value of zero, then it takes no time to travel any distance in outer space, no matter how far apart we measure. If there's nothing in between those two points in outer space, it will take zero time for light to travel. And we never see that. It always takes time. So as Einstein said in the ether and general relativity, recapitulating, we may say that according to the general theory of relativity, space is endowed with physical qualities. In this sense, therefore, there exists an ether. According to the general theory of relativity, space without ether is unthinkable. For in such space, there would not only be no propagation of light, but also no possibility of existence for standards of space and time, measuring rods and clocks, nor therefore any space-time intervals in physical sense. So what I'm saying and what he's saying, I'm just agreeing with him. Space has to be a real physical thing. When it becomes real, then time emerges as something that we can measure and experience in this realm. But if you go further, if you look at the bigger picture and you go into the afterlife, there is no time there that we can really relate to. And so in the bigger picture, there is only the moment the eternal moment, past, present, future, all occurring at the same time, which means something very important. Time travel will become possible because all you have to do is create a portal connecting you from one time dimension or time segment to another. And that's how you would do it. But to agree with what you say and say, yeah, it's an illusion because our minds are able to process intervals of time and record events and so forth only because there's a physical distance that exists and when that happens it takes a certain amount of time to traverse a distance then suddenly time exists and it exists in a very linear arrow pointing forward all the time can't go back but only forward and that's how time works in this reality this physical dimension 